Nitrocell Integrated E-Commerce presents Creating Alternative Image Profiles Unlike your primary image profiles, additional profiles are manually added and a folder directory created, where Sync may then associate and extract them for use on the web store. When additional profiles are created, Sync will automatically locate image files of the same name within the additional profiles directory. For example, let's say you've added a primary image through PAM, the image was automatically named red-ball.jpg. After establishing an additional image directory and creating a profile in sync to access it, if you place an additional image file in that folder with the same name, sync will automatically understand that this image is actually an additional image for display on the product page. You may also choose to add thumbnail and large profiles for the additional images to make the greatest impact on your customers. Step one is to create a new directory or folder. It's most convenient to create your new directory within your primary directory for easy access and copying file names. You may name the folder whatever you like. In this case, I'll keep it simple and name it two. Step two is to map additional profiles to access this new directory folder. Open Sync, select Configure, then Images. Select Add. Again. You may name the profile whatever you like. In this case, I'll name it Alt2, meaning Alternative Image Number 2. Now, navigate to the directory where the alternative images will be located. This first profile will be used to generate another default image, and therefore should match the default image size of the primary profile. In this case, the primary default is 350 pixels by 350 pixels. If you go no further, only a default image will be uploaded and a text link will appear to access it. For this reason, we recommend creating both a thumbnail and a large image profile to associate to this directory. The names of these profiles must begin with the words thumb and large and end with the additional default profile name, in this case, Thumb Alt 2 and Large Alt 2. Like before, you will need to navigate to the directory and match the respective sizes to the primary profiles. We'll start with the thumbnail. Enter Thumb Alt 2. Drill down to the correct folder. Match the size with the primary thumbnail profile. And now we'll complete the large version. Enter large alt 2. Drill down to the correct directory. Match the size with the primary large profile. Now that the profiles are complete, let's place an image in our number 2 folder to match our primary image name. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'll select an arbitrary image from the sample image folder, just to express how any image can be related and only the image name matters. I'll copy the picture named jellyfish.jpg into the number 2 folder. Now, I'll return to the primary folder to ensure I copy the exact same name of the primary image. With a slow, double left click, I am then able to right-click and copy the exact image name. Returning to Folder 2, I'll perform the same action to paste the image's new name, red-ball.jpg. Once complete, synchronize. Looking again at the product page, we now see our two thumbnails which control the display of the default image. By selecting the default image, we are presented with the large profile images which can be toggled with the hover over arrows. Once you've confirmed the configurations are correct, you may proceed to add images to the second image folder. To create even more profiles, repeat these steps again, creating additional directories and profiles to access them. This completes the Creating Alternative Image Profiles tutorial. For further assistance, see the Nitrocell Partner Portal or contact support through the ticket system. Thank you for watching. Nitrocell Integrated E-Commerce helping you succeed online.